Well, I said I would do a video on this Kimber BP-102. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't sure if I was going to get a lot of uh, interest in this gun, but uh, I've had a couple people that uh, requested that I would do a video on this one. This is a uh, this is a Kimber BP-102. Um, it's a 1911 style, 45 ACP. Um, handgun. Um, it's a little bit different than your typical 1911 and uh, I featured it in one of my videos where I compared it quickly to a uh, to my Ruger SR 1911 and uh, I've had actually uh, quite a few PMs requesting that I would do a video on it. Um, just kind of a quick overview, overview excuse me. So um, I'm doing that real quick. This is probably one of my least favorite guns. I don't know why um, but it is. Uh, but let me give you guys a quick overview. Um, let me let you actually see it first. So this is a Kimber. Again, 1911 style. See right there, Kimber. It's got front serrations, rear serrations. Um, every feature that uh, a 1911 has. Oh no, I'm going to shoot the screen. Um, I'll do a safety check here in a minute, but I can tell you it's there's nothing in it. So just so you guys can kind of see here. So, all right, so having said that, this is a uh, polymer frame 1911 by Kimber. Um, it features a double stack magazine. Um, the frame is actually here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Kind of see how thick it is. Actually, give me a second here. Let me, uh, let me grab my other 1911 here out of the safe. Excuse me. All right, let's see if we can make a comparison here. There we go. If you guys can see that. There's a big difference here. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if you can see it on video. But in terms of thickness of the grip. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, let me put this back. Okay. Anyway, um, let me tell you the pros that it's gone. The pros, um, obviously it's a 1911 style. Um, it's a Kimber, um, you know, which are known to um, make great guns back in the day. Um, I've heard a lot of problems with some of the newer Kimbers, so I'm not going to comment on that because I have no personal experience except for whatever on the internet. And, uh, you know, it must be true if I read it on the internet. So, anyway, um, the other pro to this is a polymer frame. This is a very, very, very light 45 ACP. Um, extremely light. I mean, it's, it's as light as a, you know, Glock 17. So, definitely a, uh, just a, you know, great weight, easy to carry. Very thin, um, as you can see. The um, the biggest pro of this is this holds fourteen rounds of forty five ACP in a nineteen eleven style pistol. Now, having said that. You're probably asking yourself, why does he hate this gun so much? Well, um, the reason I do is because I've had nothing but problems with this. Um, had a lot of uh, stovepipes, a lot of failure to feeds, and um, and again, this was, you know, about a year and a half ago. Took it to my gunsmith, um, and he did his magic. He worked his magic, and it now works flawlessly. It is a perfectly working 45 ACP 1911 style 14 plus one just a wonderful wonderful handgun um, because of all the headaches that it has given me in the past in my mind this is completely mental um, I still don't like it am I gonna get rid of it absolutely not um, just because number one Kimber doesn't make this anymore and number two, um, it works. Um, and I take it out once in a while and I shoot it. And when I do, I like it. But overall, if I had to get rid of one gun in my entire collection, this would be it. 
again, having said that, I'm not getting rid of it. But if I had to, for whatever reason, this would be the one I would get rid of. Um, just because of the, uh, the headaches and the money it cost me to get this thing um, working. Especially since Kimbers are um, pretty expensive to begin with. So, anyway, um, that's pretty much it. It's just a quick overview. I mean, this is, I'm not going to disassemble it. It disassembles the exact same way a regular 1911 does. Um, you know, it doesn't, uh, it's, it's no different. Uh, one thing that's a problem is um, the, uh, the magazine. These are actually uh, Metgar magazines that I have in here. Um, it did come with one 10 round magazine um, <clears throat> because this was a pre-2004 um, handgun so it only came with 10 rounds but uh, that 10 round magazine, the uh, stock 10 round magazine sucks. It's absolutely fucking terrible so um, these are the only magazines that I would use and I'm, I have only I only have two of these but I don't shoot this thing enough to uh, to want to buy more but anyway that's pretty much it. Um, this is a Kimber VP102, full size, great gun. Um, you know, uh, I don't like it that much, but overall, if I were, I would feel very, very confident. You know, selling this to <clears throat> my mother, my dad, my uh, my brother, um, and uh, knowing that it's gonna that, that it's gonna work. I just personally, this is kind of one of those guns in my collection that I'm going to keep. However, I just don't cherish it that much. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I didn't think I would get as many requests as I did about this one. But, uh, um, guys, if you have any other questions um, about this gun, please let me know. Thanks, guys.